Good morning and welcome everybody to Mad Max Part 10. Great to have you all on the program today. Uh, we had a great day yeah, last Monday with Halo. We completed Halo CE. We started Halo 2. Have been having a great time with that. And we're already on part 10 of Mad Max today. And we haven't even made it to Gastown yet. Can you believe that this game is as long as it is? But I'm glad it is because I've been having a wonderful time with it. Um, uh, way more than I expected. I was pretty surprised. So, uh, a pleasant surprise. Uh, we're live on YouTube today not Facebook or Twitter, because I'm um, testing out a new little function here on YouTube uh, to promote my merchandise. You might notice something, right? Steak and Wolves, I finally got it. Many of you have been uh, asking for new merchandise in the shop for a long time. And uh, I think the last couple of shirts I got were la last year when I was doing my series on Fallout Tactics. I made a couple of Fallout Tactics specific shirts. But it's been a while since I came out with a new design because I was having a hard time finding an artist, but managed to get that sorted, have a brand new design. Stinkin' Wolves, this is a fan favorite because, uh, well, I, mean, I don't need to explain it to all of you, but all of, it seems like every game I play, ironically, except for this one, because there are no wolves in this game. But every game I play, I, they, I get attacked by hordes and hordes of wolves, whether it's The Witcher, or Red Dead Redemption, or Tomb Raider, or um, Days Gone, my god. Wolves come out of the woodwork to, atta uh, to attack. So, stinking wolves. There you go, everybody. We've got my character, whomever I'm playing, uh, in whatever game at the time. I, I think I'm on a beach. There's water in there somewhere. Being attacked by three wolves, and he's got some improvised weaponry. So there you go. It's available on the shop. Uh, the, uh, the feature I'm testing out is this little pinned icon in the chat. I don't know if you can see it, but it's pinned to the top of the chat here on YouTube. And from there, you can easily click on it to go to my shop and uh, get the design. It comes on shirts uh, in a variety of men's, women's, and children's sizes and in a wide array of colors. And you can get it on other things as well, like uh, smartphone cases, pillows, posters, mugs, stickers, prints, etc. Alt Grendel says, new shirt is on order, Ox. Looking forward to it. Thank you so much, Alt Grendel. And if you guys uh, have any ideas for other designs, let me know. I'm, I'm trying to crank out some new designs here. By the way, and I only discovered this recently, many of my best-selling older designs had inexplicably disappeared from the shop. And so I spent uh, the weekend and uh, the better part of this week uh, working on trying to get those restored. And I'm happy to say that I think they're all restored. All my old designs are back, including the um, Joshua Graham one, which was really popular, a really uh, a good seller. It's back. The Do You Know Your History design is back. The Enclave design is back in the shop. Um, the Nick Valentine um, nuclear detonation one is back. I Am Become Death, Destroyer of Worlds, it's back as well. So all of those designs are back in the shop. And uh, if you want, you can explore them from the shopping tab here on YouTube or directly from the shop. So there you go. All right. Enough talking about my shop. It's good to see everybody on the chat today. Let me see here. I tried something new today. I scheduled the broadcast ahead of time, and that let uh, many of you... Whoa. Did the game just crash? Yeah, the game just crashed. Well, at least I wasn't playing it live when it crashed, but that's okay. We'll get it back up there. Going to go ahead and uh, try and fix a monitor problem that just seemed to happen. <laughs> but anyway, where's the chat? I just had the chat up here. There it is. Anyway, it's good to see all of the regulars and the members and the Patreon subscribers in the chat today. Survivor from the old era, Matt Rowland, TJ Slatty, Bartfast, Lane Barry, Mr. Virus, Alt Grendel, Snowman 3, Fish Key, Lone Wolf Airsoft, 
And Josh Bunton with the first super chat of the day says, uh, Yay, more Wasteland Wednesdays, yeeting of thunderpoons, and destruction of one scabrous scrotum's empire. That is the plan for today's broadcast. All right, let's see if we can get the game back up now that the chat is working. Ant, with a super chat, says, uh, Playing along with you, haven't been this immersed in a world since Fallout. May the arch an Archangel guide you through the chrome gates of Valhalla. Play on. Thank you very much, Ant. Play on to you as well. Adam M. says, I have a great body pillow design. Where do I submit? Well, as popular as body pillows are in certain gaming and geek circles, I have a feeling that they're probably not going to be suitable in this one. I'm definitely not putting my handsome mug on a body pillow anytime soon. <clears throat> but, uh, you know, you can make your own. You're more than welcome to. I'm not going to stop you. Adrian Parker says, well, it looks like I'll be doing some shopping tonight, Onx. Anyway, how are you enjoying this game? I'm absolutely thrilled with the game. I, you know, I, I didn't think I would enjoy a game where I had to drive a lot because you know how while I drive. By the way, the graduate of Oxhorn's driving school shirt is available in the shop. That one, more than any other, may be more pertinent to this broadcast. But uh, yeah, the uh, uh, the game ended up being, uh, I think I agree with, with the comment earlier, it's incredibly immersive. They did a wonderful job of really making you feel like you're in this awful dystopian Mad Max universe. So um yeah, it's, I'm having a great time with it so far. Throwing Stream says, Hey, Ox, you haven't completed jet territory. You still need to destroy the last convoy in Colossus and also disarm slash remove the minefields in the Fuel Veins, Dry Gusty, and Black Maws. Yeah, you're right. Um, I do need to do all of those things. I'm trying to balance um, storyline and open world exploration. So I... If I were playing it on my own without an audience, I would probably go region to region and just clear everything first before diving back into the story. Um, but I, uh, we, last week, we kind of did that, though. No, actually, last week, we did a couple of side quests, didn't we? So maybe maybe we can do some open world exploration. The Watcher with a super uh, sticker tip. Thank you very much, The Watcher. Steel 101 says, howdy, Ox. Yep, the beard still works. Pretty ladies, keep smiling at me, lol. Also, are you going to try out the Spider-Man games? They're on PC now. Well, as uh, an owner of a beard, and one who has had a beard for a long time, I have to agree. Um, the beard works. It is a magnet of sorts. So congratulations on your epic beard, and I hope it serves you the way that you clearly deserve to be served. Ma uh, and in terms of the Spider-Man games, I, you know, I don't know. I've never really been into superhero games, and uh, I, I guess if I had to pick a superhero game to be interested in, it might be Batman. Spider-Man isn't really top of the list for me. But never say never. Maybe it's something I'll have to check out in the future. Matt Rowland says, Ox, I'm only seeing XL. Are there more sizes? Or maybe it only shows XL here on YouTube. No, it's, it's got to be available in, X, in, in other sizes. There should be a drop-down box that... Um, well, let me let me check it myself. Let me open it up in a new tab. You, there should be, yeah, it goes all, all all the way from small to two XL. So just click on it, and then directly beneath color, you can choose small all the way to two XL, and it comes in blue, black, gray, and white. But that's only that shirt. So the link is going to take you to the tri blend tree a uh, T, which is um, it's a tea made from three different fabrics, f fabrics, hence the name TriBlend. But uh, if you scroll down, there's a similar products tab, and you can get it in sweatshirts and hoodies and bags, and many of those come in different colors. Let's see, the classic tea, for example, comes in like almost 10 colors, pink, black, purple, blue, green, and it goes all the way from small to 4XT. So yeah, they are available in a wide array of, of sizes. Uh, just use the drop-down box. If you don't see a drop-down box, uh, click the size clicker directly beneath color. Steve Moyer, or Moyer, says, working from home, shh, so can't stay long, but long-time viewer and just wanted to thank you, Ox, for all of your great content. Alien Isolation was my favorite. Yes, I loved Alien Isolation. It's probably one of my favorite survival horror games as it truly freaked me out. It was one of the few games that truly freaked me out. 
Okay, uh, let's see. Let's see if I can get the game back. It crashes and then I get distracted with chat. Uh, let's pull that back up. Julian Z says, Hi, Ox. So good to see you on this mad Wednesday. Hope you're well. Loving the new stinking wolves. Reminds me of all of the games. Wolves were the bane of your existence, lol. Yeah, this design has been a long time coming. And the, the wolves have been a bane of my existence for quite some time. Okay, having a problem here. Uh, and of course I'm having a problem now. But uh, yeah, it just crashed to desktop again. And that's the first time that's ever happened with this game. So let me tinker with this really quickly. It might have something to do with um, my secondary display. And I'm, but the problem is that if I turn that off, I'm not going to be able to see the chat. So let me try and get the secondary display to work again. Hmm. And display settings are they're not working here. Yeah, I can't even use my display settings. That's a weird issue. Never had that happen before. There we go. All right, I'm finally able to detect my other monitor. There it is over there. I'll pull the chat. There's the chat over on the secondary monitor. And now let's try launching again. Cross your fingers that it's not going to crash the desktop again. Steel 101 says, I hate it when food gets stuck in my beard. You know, that hasn't happened to me in a long time. And the reason for that is years of practice. I have found that the longer you have a beard, the more used to... One second, everybody. I'm just going to casually go over here and give this a yeet. No, I'm not going to yeet it. Okay. Oh, this is absolutely awful. It crashed the desktop again. Uh, I wonder if it's just Mad Max or if it's any game I try to play. Um, that's really weird. And I wonder if uh, turning the secondary monitor off will solve the problem. Or maybe I just have too many, uh, too many windows open. Um, well, we'll try this again, and if that happens again, we're going to just uh, turn off Chrome. Anyway, years of experience trains you how to uh, eat in a certain way so that b uh, food doesn't get all clingy to your beard. So you'll get there. You'll get there. Electra says, starting my first job tomorrow. Wish me luck. Good luck, Electra. I hope things go well for you tomorrow. Come back and let us know how they go. Right. All right. So I'm going to have to do something dramatic here. Like, uh, I don't know, restart my computer. It's been a while I've had to do that. But the good thing is that since I'm broadcasting from a completely different computer, I'm not going anywhere. Though I won't be able to see your chat for a while while my computer restarts. Ah, wonderful. There we go. Watch my luck. And there's going to be like a Windows update that I've got to install. Oh, my God. Wow, I shouldn't have said anything. I should have just kept that in the back of my mind. Because here I am installing a Windows update. <laughs> this is what happens. I get an awful idea, then I speak it into existence. Well, at least I've got my coffee. While we're waiting on the computer to update and then restart, let's get a better look at that design. Right? Turned out really good. It's almost got a three wolf moon look going on there, right? Three wolves and the moon. Is that even a meme anymore? I don't think so. Maybe maybe the young folks don't know what the whole three wolf moon thing was. 
from all those years ago. But it's got three wolves and a moon. But yeah, now that this design is live, I'm eager to start work on the next one. If you get any design ideas, let me know. I'm taking notes. I've been trying to get uh, a plushie together for a while. I know that many people have wanted an Oxhorn plush. I've been getting all your emails and all your messages on Twitter. So I'm, uh, I'm trying to get work to work on that, but that's um, becoming a little bit more complicated than I had initially hoped. But I hope to eventually get that done. And when I do, I'll let you, I'll let you all know. I also got your notes on a, a squeaky toy from last week. I think someone was saying they wanted a squeaky dog toy, an Oxhorn squeaky toy. I don't know, maybe. All right, well, the computer has finally restarted itself. And we can hope that this works. Oh, yeah, none of that now, please. Great. Let's log into Steam here. Perfect. Now let's get the chat back up. Perfect. Now, cross some fingers, let's try for the actual game. I got the chat, I see the chat, the monitors are working, the computer has restarted. Let's launch the game. JTS says, the episode 666 should be hell-based. Why not Bethesda's version of hell with Oblivion? Love to see your reaction to the derpy AI dialogue. I mean, I've heard a lot of wonderful things about Oblivion, and by wonderful, I mean Mimi, as in they're like, they're suitable for crazy memes. Uh, so maybe I would do something like that. That would, that would be fun. Weird Beard says, Having a beard three times the length of yours for nearly 15 years, I've still not mastered the art of eating cleanly. They need to design beard bibs. That <laughs> you know, uh, uh, I used to run a mustache blog, and um, they had these cups. Hey, it's working! All right, finally. Back in the olden days, when everybody had a mustache, they had these uh, these porcelain cups made that had a, a mustache guard, where, because it was unseemingly to get tea in your mustache when sipping, and it's very hard to sip from a cup and not get tea on your mustache. And so there was this little, if you tipped a cup like this, there was a little porcelain guard where your mustache would just rest inside, and there was a tiny slit at the bottom where the actual beverage can come out and it would protect your mustache to keep it from getting soggy from, uh, from the tea. Julian Z says, Ox, didn't you say before that your streamer and audio settings would restart every time there was a window update? Uh-oh. Yes, on my broadcasting PC over here, not on my, my gaming PC over here, so I think I'm okay. Sarah in the chat says, had to say goodbye to our 18-year-old cat today. His name was Smokey. Somehow it hit me harder than I expected. Spending money in honor of Smokey, dude. He was badass and a lover. I miss him already. Thank you, Ox. Oh, Sarah, I'm so sorry to hear about uh, the death of your beloved cat, Smokey. 18 years, though. Man, that was a good long life. And uh, I, it sounds like he was really t taken well care of. And I, I hope he... It sounds like he was loved. And I'm sorry that you have this loss. But thanks for coming by to let us know. Jamie Honey Bunny says, maybe driving school shirts? 
I've already got a graduate of Oxhorn's driving school shirt. I've got a driving school shirt already. Uh, Days Gone Motorcycle, Far Cry ATV or Helicopter, Red Dead Redemption 2 Horse, School of Driving, or Never Punch Your Horse on Red Dead Redemption 2 theme. Oh, that's a good idea. I could have uh, Arthur Morgan just punching a horse. How many people would buy a horse punching shirt? <laughs> Makes me wonder. All right, here we go. Adrian Parker says, I just bought two different shirts. We'll let you know when they arrive. Looking forward to getting them. That's great, Adrian. It's my heart of hearts. I've always known you were a legend. How's things going for you? You'll have to let me know how the print quality turns out on those. You know, cheat apparently blew a back door into the bearings. Good thing is, he could trade powder to us under Scrotus's nose. Pyro says, who wouldn't buy a horse punching shirt? Axon Media Seattle says, I would buy a horse punching shirt in a second. Just so you know. Oh my God, my audience is awesome. <laughs> Guess I gotta get a horse punching shirt. I can't believe we got it. Okay, here we are at Pink Eye's territory. Um, we've done a good job of trying to clear the fuel veins, the dry gusty, uh, Colossus, and he was right, I still have this uh, convoy I need to get rid of, Black Moss and the Grit Canyons. Now, we do have a quest that sends us up here to Gastown, Dance with Death, Story Mission. Is that, is, that's not the end, is it? I don't want to beat the game today, because look at all of this. I've got this huge territory over here that I still have to clear. Uh, do I have any other side quests? I mean, I've got some big uh, places to take over here. Let's see, we've got uh, the Jugular Canyon. That's a big guy we need to get rid of. But I think we've completed all... Oh, I know what I was wanting to do. I wanted to go to Deep Freya. That's right, if we go to Deep Freya, we're likely going to get some new quests. All right, I'm starting to remember now. We came through here and we got that vantage point, that vantage point, and that vantage point. And then I wanted to go to Deep Freya. All right, let's go that way, and we'll tackle some things along the way. Edward Ontiveros says, Oh, what a day! What a lovely day! A reference to the movies. Thank you for that one, Edward. Or Eduardo. The threat of Lord Scrotus is lessened. It will mean great tidings for us. Oh, come on! You jerk! Sit tight. Yes, gladly. It is my sacred place. He got thunderpooned. Urarara -ur -ur says, You're not even close to the end yet. Even when you think you've got to the end, you haven't. Balls! Oh. Okay. Urorurur just paid me to say balls on camera. Thank you for that one, Urorurur. Brian Lynch says you're not even close to beating the game. Great, I'm glad. I'm having too much fun. I don't want it to end. Jeff Day says great looking shirt, Ox. Just wish it came in my size, lol. I, I don't know. It, com it comes in all sorts of sizes from small to like three or four XL, I think. So it's got to come in your size. The shirt that I'm linking to in the chat is just one of the different styles of shirts. That's the tri-blend tree, a uh, tee. The classic tee or the unisex tee is gonna come in more sizes and in more colors. So just click on the link and then scroll down to the related products until you find a different hey, type of t-shirt. Uh, we must get on with our sacred mission. If you want it in a different size or color. Sarah wants the Ali Ali Oxen tee. 
or the the Ali Ali Oxhorn tea. Got some scrap over here. Trees! Ooh, it's a ghost town. But I don't see anyone here. Weird Beard says, yeah, select the classic tee for sizes up to like 4XL. Yeah, thank you. It does come in. Oh, look at this. All right. I'm guessing we're going to get some buzzards. Yeah, the, uh, the classic tee does uh, come in very large sizes. Here we go. One more piece. Alt Master says, hey, Ox, just wanted to remind you that The Last of Us Part 1 will be coming out soon. I believe it's on September 2nd. I believe it would be a great replacement for Tomb Raider when you finish that series. Thank you, Altmaster. That's actually great to know because I am going to be finishing Shadow of the Tomb Raider in about a month or some. Hear that? Watch out! The gas tower! <laughs> you want to spurt us as henchmen? <laughs> I snuck right up behind this guy. <laughs> For a minute, I was trying to figure out, oh, is this like an NPC I can talk with? Because he wasn't hostile. And I'm so used to these guys just being immediately hostile. But no, he just didn't see me. All right, is there anything worthwhile in this area? Looks like we just got some ammo and a couple pieces of scrap. No historical documents or other lore. All right, let's head to Deep Fry then. Where's the car? Over here. Anyway, yeah, I, I am going to need something to replace uh, Tomb Raider with. You know what I was thinking? Uh, what's it called? I think it's called Uncharted. I've never played Uncharted, but I've heard that it's a really good sort of, you know, treasure, ruins, exploring game. Much in the vein of uh, Tomb Raider. Is Uncharted a good series for me to explore on the channel? But I definitely want to do The Last of Us when it comes to the PC. Thank you, chum bucket. All right, looks like we've got a little town here with an intel encounter and some scrap. Uh, she's in pain, Saint. I'm gonna fix. Let's go check that out. Yeah. We've got some scrap, that's for sure. That's it for the scrap. Here's the intel encounter. Yeah, I know you. 
Keep your heater hosted. You hot stuff in the Great White. But here, nah, you're just another meatbag here. Say you want in on this? Help me with this loot, and we'll split it middlewise. Okay, so we're gonna be splitting some loot here. Cool. I got 50 scrap out of that. Fishkey says Uncharted is way better than Tomb Raider. Same vein, too. Really? I'm actually enjoying uh, The Shadow of the Tomb Raider more than Rise of the Tomb Raider. Rise of the Tomb Raider was not quite as entertaining as the first one, in my opinion. Just uh, the Tomb Raider reboot. But Shadow of the Tomb Raider... Uh, Lara Croft seems more human. Like, the game is actually dumping on her a bit. She's starting to suffer the consequences of her choices, and I'm enjoying that. I'm also really enjoying the the Mayan civilization that we get to explore. But it's good to know that Uncharted is a good game. I might have to tackle some Uncharted. Pyro says, Uncharted is like Tomb Raider, but with good writing and jokes. I should have just talked to you guys before I picked a Tomb Raider game, shouldn't I? I mean, I should... <laughs> All right, which which Uncharted should I start with if we do Uncharted? Oh, but now I gotta choose between Uncharted and The Last of Us. Oh, wait a minute, there's still a symbol here. It said location 100% looted, but I still have a scrap symbol on my icon. Does that mean there's an underground staircase? It says I'm standing right on top of it. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, my God. All right, it says I'm standing right over it here. Oh, oh, it's a history relic. I just wasn't paying attention. We've got a history relic. Caution, extreme heat, danger. Understatement of the century, a... Mocking reminder of a time when there was a temperature other than extreme hot. Global warming sucks. The government sucks. No water sucks. This picture sucks. Sorry, I'm bored. This photo was in a pile of uh, debris I went through yesterday. It's not often I get to write or even talk to people for that matter. Screw having opinions. If you find this picture, my name is slash was Bubbles. My name sucks, and so do you for still being alive in this crap hole. Bye. Hatred, loneliness, <laughs> insanity. All familiar friends. Poor guy. Julian Z says Ox Uncharted would be a great game to explore, but I believe it's still only PlayStation. With promises of coming to PC, maybe. What? Oh, man. Is it really console exclusive? Ah, oh, what a bummer. Cloud Prism says Uncharted is similar to Tomb Raider. However, it, it's a bit more linear in terms of world and story. But Uncharted is still probably better than Tomb Raider. I mean, it looked good when I watched the trailer. Johnny Turner says my vote is for Uncharted. Well, you know what? Moving closer. Oh, here we go. I got it! Jeez! Come on!
I am now the road warrior! Fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it! Fix it, fix it, fix it! That gun and I'm losing it! It would be if I had better equipment. Let me in, let me in, let me in! Oh, come on. There we go. I'm almost on its tail! If I can stay on the road... Oh man! My angel! He's coming through! You done yet? go that's one way to take out some cars in a convoy wait for the drivers to get out and then just pummel them On it. Oh. And they're leaving me alone. I exposed the fuel tank, but I just got rammed by it. Uh, Zartet says, you know, the kicker here is that if you had somehow... Oh, and it flew off the screen. Hold on a second. He says that if you had somehow managed to play Uncharted before Tomb Raider, there'd likely be just as much clamor for the latter. You think so? 
Julian Z says, never mind, Ox, there is planned release for October. Hey, that's great. Altmaster says, Uncharted is a great series. I believe there are five games in this series. Unfortunately, I believe on Steam, they're only going to release game four and five on the PC. Quasar says, good luck, Oxford. I'm not taking a sing, uh, in not taking a single hit game. A single hit game? In not taking, like, like not getting hit at all? In a game? Yeah, that'll never happen. Altmaster says, so it wouldn't make sense to start all four before playing the rest. I could be wrong, though. Looking it up, it says it's rumored to be out for PC on October 19th. So close! Ah! I've almost got it! Quickly. Altmaster says, so it wouldn't make sense to start at four before playing the rest. I could be wrong though, looking it up. Oh, thank you, I read that one already. Um, is it the kind of game where I have to start at the first?
Finally, it's alone. Oh my god. Oh, for Pete's sake, of course. Oh my god. I finally get rid of the convoy, and then a war party pulls up. Very risky to slow here. God! Didn't. Why is this one so difficult?
I think I got it. A couple more, couple more until it blows up. Maybe one more. Uh, one more after that. Oh, here it comes. The mighty duster. Boom! Finally! Good God! Now for the order, McCann. Keep an eye on the car. This month. It's a tricycle hood ornament. <laughs> okay. Let's install that on the front. I used all my thunder poons. I used all my shotgun shells. And my harpoon was less effective than I had hoped. I wasn't able to tear the tire completely off, but I did slow it down. Oh, golly. Weird beard, slow claps. Well, thank you, weird beard. Better than no clap at all, I suppose. All right, well, that, uh, <laughs> we've been going round and round in circle uh, in the heights is what we've been doing. Uh, but that convoy is out of the way. Let's continue on our way to Deep Freya. Level six harpoon required. I thought my uh, my harpoon was fully upgraded. No, it's locked. Reduce threat to level zero in Jeet's territory to upgrade this. I could afford it. Have I not? What? Jeet's territory. Well, there's Jeet. What else do I need to do? I've cleared all of these areas. I mean, I oh, I've got a minefield here. Ah. Wow. I thought I was fully upgraded on that. I guess not. There, gasoline cans. Guzzoline cans? Well, if I can't uh, tear it down with my javelin, I wonder if I can blow it up with guzzoline cans. What are they doing? Oh, they're coming. No! Survivor from the old era says, Saint, I think the Magnum Opus has Fire Mojo you can utilize to smite the heathen hordes. Fire Mojo? I'm out of Thunder Poons. Davina Leiter with a super tip. Thank you, Davina. Adam M says, your mic's out? I don't think so. I'm looking at it right now and looks like the level's fine. Wow, why is that so hard? Ah!
I keep leaping over it. Wow. Why, 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 why? I keep hurting myself too. There we go. There's the guzzling can. Can I blow up the scarecrow? Yeah, that did half damage to it. All right, if I can find one more guzzling can, I can totally get rid of it. Oh my God. Well, I should have put it there. And it's not gonna respawn, is it? Thankfully, I believe I have one in the car. Brian Lynch says, do the gas town quest after getting set up at Deep Fry -Up to speed up Chum's repair speed. Okay, cool. I may do that. All right, there's my last fuel can. Let's make this count. Shoot the barrels? I could if I had any shotgun shells left, but I used all of them trying to get rid of that convoy. Same with my my thunderpoon. Well, that was great. Oh, this is great. This is ominous. The very sand seemed to whisper, whisper of dangers ahead. There we go. Run away! Yeah, what? Ha ha ha, I got it. Oh, there was a secondary explosion there. Destroy red barrels. Yay, 50 of 50. Road warrior level three. All right, am I going to get burned? Hey, I killed a rat. <laughs> Let's eat the food. Okay. Well, a little pit stop on the way. That's one less scarecrow. Well, now that I know that I don't have the latest level of my harpoon, I really want to finish clearing Jeet's territory. But I want to finish my mission first, so let's go to Deep Freya. Then I think I want to clear Jeet. Then maybe we'll go to Gastown. Ah, uh, look at the tricycle hood ornament. <laughs> let's see what it does. We didn't... Uh, here, let's go to collectibles and hood ornaments. Let's see. Here it is. Bike. What does it do? Uh, let's put this on the back. We've got Teddy on the back. Where's the bike?
Mask of the Pious, Death Twins, Dread Ram, Bike. Here we go. Um, okay, gain a top speed boost. Well, do I want a top speed boost? I think, you know, my speed is pretty good. So I think I want either an attack boost or a defense boost. Let's try, uh, let's try an, oh, a handling boost. Yeah. Let's do the sly one. There we go. We got, we've got a handling boost. Throwing stream says, Ox, look at the territory summary info for all of Jeet's territories. There's minefields you haven't discovered yet. Just use the dog to discover them. Is it really all about minefields? The reason I don't have the next level of, level of harpoon is because of the minefields? Survivor from the old era says, Ox, you have side flames on the car, and there's a minefield left in each light yellow section. Jeet's map. How do I use the flame? I assume that's this. Side burners. Do I have side burners installed? I do. Yeah, how do I use them once they're installed? All right, let's see. All right, there's the minefield in the fuel veins. Looks like I... Yeah, I need one more in the dry gusty, two more in the fuel veins. I still have to do the convoy in the Colossus and one minefield in the Colossus, one more minefield in the Black Maw, and one more minefield in the Great Canyons. That should get me, or get me my next harpoon. John DeGian Berardino says, Hey, Oxendal, I'm a bit behind on the stream today, but my cane... Corso Puppy loves the idea of an Oxhorn squeaky toy and plushie. Well, I love both of those ideas. I'm going to have to get hard to work on that. Mega Glow Z says you have to select them first while you're in your vehicle. Scroll weapons, then hold down whatever button you use to fire, not aim. Oh. Um. Oh, yeah! Oh, my. That probably drains my fuel really quickly. Thank you, guys. I didn't realize I had that. All right, we're going to be passing by a bunch of stuff. Let's just focus on Deep Fryer. Okay, well, we've made good progress on that. <laughs> Just by finding a wonderful snipe position. We are just tearing up these guys' uh, perimeter defenses. We're 
when a stank comes, camps. Well, you can tell from the splishy, splashy colors. Perimeter defense is completely eliminated. So this this is right on the road. This was right on my way to Deep Fryer. And just by driving by and trying to defend myself, I completely cleared its perimeter defenses. So I'm thinking I just want to take care of it. Davina Light, uh, Leitner says uh, the slick tires make the harpoon less effective is that true what was i having so much trouble because i had the slick tires installed i i suppose that makes sense so i need to get um gut gashes territory from three to two to unlock these tires and i've almost achieved that and i need to get gut gashes territory from three to one to get the next upgrade for the tires so it looks like I've got a lot of work left ahead of me here. Gotta get the scrap. Scrap, scrap, scrap. Gotta get my scrap. I'm all about the scrap. Oh, give me the scrap. Achievement unlocked. Scrap collector. Hey. How about we just walk through the front door? Since we've practically half defeated this one anyway, let's uh, finish the job. Give us an opportunity to get some gas canisters because we're out of those just in case we need them. 37 fighters to kill, one history relic, two insignia, 10 scrap, and one survey crew parts.
Okay. A little bit of the old uh, ultra violence there. That was a lot of them. <laughs> God. And there's a weapon right up there. Of course, I never find a weapon before the actual fight. No, it's after the fight when I find the weapons. And there's the first scrap. Scrap number two. Weapon. Yeah. Scrap number three. Yay. Ah, oh, come on. My volition ability didn't give me any upgrades. All right, let's see. Right or left? Let's go left. Hmm. All right, <clears throat> water. And a full canteen, even though that water still was only half full, thanks to my water essence ability. Cool. All right, what do we got in here? More scrap. All right, and this was the other way down. Or the other way up. Okay. Well, we've got to go through this door. Haven't seen any insignia yet. I'm really surprised that there were no insignia in this entire place. Wait a minute. There's a door down there. Did we go to that door? Yeah, we had to. Did we? No, we can't. We didn't go to that door. Did we? Oh, I think we did. All right, so we've got another silo over there. We'll probably have some enemies up top and then more across the way. That's a lot of guys.
stealing from us already! The thieves! Berserk their death! Golly! Well, that was messy. That was super messy. I don't even know if the weapon is worth it. The weapon, uh, I, I drop the weapon whenever I do a reversal or a, a finisher or any sort of uh, ability that instantly kills them. I drop the weapon. So it's only useful for the first few hits. Oh, God. Now I'm at half life already. And I've only cleared one silo. Hey, there's the first insignia. Well, thankfully, I've got more water. Okay. Is there... How am I going to get over there? The bridge right there. There's the next scrap. That was the remains of the sniper that I destroyed while I was in the car. And that's where I came up. I'm drawing you up. Need water. All right, that's the last of my water. Oh wait, I, I dropped my melee weapon. Of course I did. But there's plenty to choose from over here. Let's see, that looks brutal. Oh, great. Alright, my weapon broke, but at least I got some good use out of it. Alright, ladder going down over there. Ladder going down over there. Uh... Oh. Body bounces off. Ah. Well, I got him. Okay. Hey, there's another water still.
All right, and I'm almost topped up. Okay, which one to take? Let's try this one. Scrap. Is that an insignia? That's a broken insignia. So I can't destroy what's already broken. And this is a ladder going back up. Let me guess, this is going to take me to the other ladder, I'm thinking. Hey, a weapon. Yeah. But just to double check. Bingo. All right, it brings me back over here. Any insignia? Doesn't look that way. Okay, how am I doing so far? We've killed 29 of 37 fighters. We need one history relic, one insignia, four scrap, and one survey crew parts. Three more scrap to go. There's the history relic. All right, a couple kids by the uh, by a pond, by a lake. Beauty is life. Beauty is family. Beauty is eternal. As long as there is life on this planet, beauty will follow. I can't imagine it any other way. Feeling good, Abby. Did it die too? Beauty. So maudlin, Max. Jocelyn Ryan says, can't stay, but I just had to check out the new shirt. Love it. Have a good stream, all. Thanks, Jocelyn Ryan. Thanks for coming by. Right. Door over there. Looks like there's a back room over here. Thinking this might be my way out. That looks like the way out. Okay, let's see what was through this door over here. Two ways out? Oh, man. Oh, okay. This is another entrance I could have come through. All right. Which means the other path is going to take us deeper in. Okay, that's blocked, which means I'm missing something. That likely means there's going to be a staircase leading underground that I have yet to find. Uh, usually there's a top dog at one of these camps, right? Okay. Well, th that's the two silos completely. Uh, and there's my car. What? All right, there's got to be a staircase that I haven't seen. 
Okay, before I explore these ruins, let's go back in. See if we find a hidden staircase in one of the silos. And if not, then we're going to have to go from ruin to ruin to try and hunt down the rest of these guys. Yeah, it's only upon entering here that we actually get the notification that we've entered the Twin Sisters. So... And this was blocked to us, right? Okay. Uh, all right, let's backtrack and see if we can figure out where we went wrong here. Mega Glow Z became a silver ox. Thank you, Mega Glow Z. All right, nothing over there. Yep, and then that just leads down to that platform, which connects in the middle. Okay. Wait a minute. We came from there. Hello. There's a door over there. How do we get there? Oh my god, it's on the other side. Unless this is the one we came from. Okay, it's one of those two doors. Is this the one we came from? If this leads to the bridge, then this is the one we came from. Aha! Someone here! And right kill today. Get in the battle! You stuck, buddy? <laughs> I knocked him over. Hey! Twin sisters! Dismantled. We need one more insignia, one more project part, and one more scrap. There's my gas can. I can replace the one I have with that. The one that I lost with that. There's the insignia. Oh, that door requires an explosion. Ah. I'm not gonna be able to save the gas can. Well, that should give us the scrap and the project part. Urururur says, good luck, Ox. This area took me forever to clear. Well, thankfully, I've got forever. There's the project part. All right, one of two for the survey crew. And the scrap. That should do it.
Twin Sisters Complete. Exerexac says, what the heck? I only got the live notification now. Sorry about that, Exerexac. Not sure why that happened. This is why I recommend everybody follow me on Twitter because I manually update Twitter every time I go live. That way everyone gets a notification. Zip line. Okay. Is there a fast way down from here? Nope. Guess we gotta climb down. If we can figure out how. There we go. And a full canteen. I'll take it. There it is. Okay, location complete. And Chum Bucket has our ride all fully repaired. Okay, well, it was a slight diversion, but uh, we cleared it. Scrap over there, but it's a bit of a ways away. Let's just get to Deep Fryer. Well, we found a death run. Love the harpoon. That will never get old. Stay put. Hey, another project part. All right, 102 for the cleanup crew. Where did he come from? All right, there's another piece of scrap hiding somewhere around here. Oh, no, no, I'm 
I shudder at the thought of the red-eyed buzzards hunting us! Where would it be? Another piece of scrap somewhere around here. I can't go under. Oh, there it is. It's way over here. There we go. Getting low on gas. <laughs> For the first time in a long time. Ooh, that wreckage lies in a shallow grave. I will spoil if we be so blessed. All right, Chum Bucket, I'll get the scrap for you. Deuteronomus says, you think the flames drained it? Otherwise your gas pretty much never goes down. Yeah, I've never had a problem with gas until now. Let's see. Yeah, I can I can see it going down whenever I use my flames. That's <laughs> That's a gas guzzler. Uh oh, I don't like this. Deep Friar's Temple. The temple stronghold of Deep Friar is the centerpiece of his territory. It resembles a mound from which many pipes protrude, giving it a hedgehog-like appearance. Mounted on top is a huge tube which is said to be able to spew fire and incinerate the chosen cultists. Inside his stronghold is where Deep Friar holds his fire sermons in honor of the sacred flame which all the cultists believe will burn them all and give them their freedom. Oh great, another death cult. At least the others are doing something constructive, even if it means repairing a ship that we'll never take to sea. But these guys, they burn themselves for fun? Yikes. Uh-oh. Oh, this was a cutscene. Whoops. That's why I couldn't harpoon the drivers. Deep Raya's Temple. Deep Raya has a new wasteland I mission. I am of the flame, and the flame caught. I am of the flame. And the flame courses through my veins, calling me to spread its gospel to all. And they will all succumb to the hungry tongues of the all-consuming fire. The fire preacher of Gastown 
He is the leader of a small religious cult which is primarily focused on the sacred flame. Those who worship want nothing more than to be burnt alive by the sacred flame. I mean, what's stopping them? They can do that any time. They feel at odds with Scrotus' underlings who believe in death by combat instead of glorious death by fire. Armory project ready to be built. Frying time, deep fryer. Oh God! The end times are upon us. I, deep fryer, spawn of the great flame, have beheld it. My children, the flock of wildfire, eagerly await their righteous salvation. They expect me to deliver them. I see in you a possible salvation. How so? Gastown is doomed. The dunes outside all run red with blood. Dread Scrotus and his war boys spread their bloody gospel of the blade. But you, your goal is elsewhere. That makes you a valuable ally. Nobody's ally. Many of my flock have come from the path of the blade and on to the flame. You'll be rewarded in buffed up weapons. What do you need? Since Dread Scrotus' recent bout with death by chainsaw to the nugget, the holy machination we call the Warm Embrace has become non-functional. You mean that big tube mounted outside? It leads into the gas-filled belly of Gastown. Once a sacred moon, it bellows out a pure flame, embracing the wildfire standing in its front. Now the flames have stopped. We cannot go into the tunnels pitch black and full of flammable gas, making our torches impossible to use. Your false light there, that's the way to go. So I get this mission because I have a flashlight. <laughs> okay. The gas has stopped flowing to Deep Fryer's pilot light. Go down into the deepest bowels of the underbelly tunnels and reopen the gas valves. Reward, unlock the Thunder Poon of Awe upgrade? Oh yeah. I would like the Thunder Poon of Awe, please. Enter the underbelly. Let's explore Deep Freya's stronghold first. All right, this is our oil well, and we found the parts to craft this, so let's do it. Bingo! Ammo belt all automatically upgraded. Cool. We could donate scrap, but no. Don't think I will. I learned my lesson there. Ooh, look at all those skulls. These must be the skulls of uh, people who have sacrificed themselves to the flame. Hey! History relic. No potatoes, no butter, no meat. Is that it? Deep Fry's stronghold is really small compared to the others, unless I'm missing something. I mean, we hear the echoes of people moaning, so you'd think it would be larger, but... No, it looks like that's it. Okay. I guess I shouldn't be surprised if he kills half of his people all the time. There's the maggot farm. Of course, the barracks is in the maggot farm, or the maggot farm is in the barracks. Right! To the underbelly. Town. What? 
God was a black finger here. Yeah, the finest, the most exalted. Oh, I had it all. all the parts, the purpose. I worked on the war machines and the assault vehicles. <laughs> and I had a bunk and as much gruel and cheese and grease as I could eat. <laughs> yeah. of night, she whispered to me, the sweet angel combustion, she chose to visit this holy acolyte, huh? and she gave me a plan. Oh, the sweet angel combustion chose to visit this holy acolyte. Huh? What happened? <laughs> she told me that I had to begin my toil. Huh? I had the designs inside the pan, see? Just like she laid them down, the angel, and I began liberating parts for her design. And they, they caught me. They wished to turn me off for good, but Scrotus Rudder, uh, he wanted to play with me. And they threw me off a wall in the bungee. But what with the aid of the angel, huh? I made it out. I didn't die! <laughs> the parts. Hidden, hidden away. Hey, 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 hey! Oh. I think, I think that we can get them for her. Yes, as it was intended by the Simi Shammy. You send the magnum opus and the harpoon. Let's do it. As it was intended by the Shimmy Shammy, as the wrench turns. During his time in Gastown, Chum Bucket started stealing bits and pieces of useful scrap. Chum sees an opportunity to reclaim his hidden stash now that he has returned to Gastown. Locate the secret entrance and find his stash. Reward unlock Chum's holy wrench upgrade. As the wrench turns. <laughs> That's a great name. Okay. Drive to the entrance. Trust that fiery preacher. His gods are wicked, Saint. Let's hope his payment isn't. Right. <clears throat> Both quests take us to Gastown. We've got to drive to the entrance. We've got to enter the underbelly. We've got an intel encounter along the way and a vantage outpost. Let's get the vantage outpost. <laughs> Big scarecrow over there. Might as well take care of it. I guess that makes Gas Town a little less nasty, huh? Less pukes to threaten us around here. Keep an eye out. No surprises. I have over 10,000 scrap. I haven't hit a cap yet, and I hope that means there isn't one. Nutshot! Can't hide from the Reaper. Road Warrior level 4, and I'm low on gas.
see if I can find some here. Oh yeah. Looks like there might be a little left in this. I can still ignite it. We'll toss it right there for now. Another fuel can. Ammo belt is full. Dinky D meeting veggies, dog food. That's all the scrap. Hey, a project part. Oil well, one of one. Awesome. Okay, I'm full. My canteen is full, my health is full, so I don't need that. And that's it for this location. Let's store this gas can so we have it in an emergency. Come out and fight!
They do not want to get out of their cars to fight. But at least this gives me a chance to fully rip, uh, for Chumbucket to fully repair. One more. There we go. Good gosh. Man, when they ram you, it really hurts. Oh. All right, where's my car? <laughs> I can't even find my car in this junk heap. Oh, it's over there. Can I get to it? Can I even get to it? Oh my god. Okay, we're alive. an intel encounter right over this ridge here. Echoes of your deeds resound before you. You're known, legendary. Perhaps keep your head down if you want to keep it. And that's it, huh? Well, thank you for praising me, I guess. Right, let's get this uh, vantage point. Ben Yates says, I've made it back to this channel after two years away. Well, I'm so glad to have you back, Ben Yates. Long time, but it's good to see ya. Okay, I'm probably gonna have to refuel it, so let's grab this fuel can. Oop, get the scrap first. Oh, location 100% looted already. All right. Stay! Hold your positions! <laughs> <laughs> Juan says, Ox, remember that you don't have any armor equipped on the Magnum Opus. That's why they're destroying you so easily. Oh, yeah, I took all my armor off to uh, increase my handling and my speed. Maybe I should put it back on.
Oh, Thunderpoons right there. Cut fuel. Okay, before we waste the fuel. Let's see if we can ride. Region revealed, dump. And there we are, we are right next to it. Massive Scarecrow, that's our quest destination. Another massive Scarecrow and a sniper. Whew, this is a murky region. Lots of uh, smoke in the air, hard to see. Deep Fryer, that's where we came from. Scarecrow. Scarecrow. Sniper. Okay, that brings us all the way back around. I think we got it all. So just snipers and scarecrows in this region should be fairly easy to take care of. TJ says, very creative, dump. I was expecting the devil's scrotum or something, yeah. <laughs> Based on everything we've seen so far. Okay. I've already got gas, so I don't need to store that. Pyro says plus one minefield on the right side. Yeah, those don't show up with the uh, balloons, though. So we'll have to find that with Dinky D. Corrosion, plunder, sharpshooters, and scavenger hordes to come. Drive to the entrance, ghosts of the past. Enter the underbelly. Let's focus on the underbelly. Things once more, most of all, sacred. Oh, just think of the miracles I'll be able to perform with her. There's a sniper over there somewhere.
Let's explore this place while we're here. Stay. Got the car. Okay. Our project part. All right. Maggot farm for Deep Raya. Wonderful. And there's the scrap, 100% looted. I hear a squeaky. Where are you? I've got one little bit of, he of life that I want to re repair. Where's the squeaky? Oh well. This is Red Island, and they mostly come at night. Yes, ha! Did he just say they mostly come at night? Mostly? Nice. Wrap it! 
Oh, there was a barrier in front of that one. What is that? Is that a camp? No, that's just a scarecrow. Yikes. Hurry up. Oh, no! Right. Let's uh let's let's equip some armor. How about that? <laughs> let's go all the way. Yes, please. Wow. Okay. Well, found by a war party, but we survived. Let's get the scrap and then destroy that scarecrow and see if we can get to the gates of Gastown. Okay. Now my javelin isn't going to be high enough to drag this thing down, so we're going to have to bash it. Just hope we don't destroy our car in the process. And, uh, yeah, I'm not a fan of the flames. I don't know if you noticed, but I was standing there surrounded by three cars and I just held on the flame button and all it did is drain my fuel incredibly. I had a full tank of gas and it just decimated my tool. All right, hold on. We've got a new Thunderpoon ability here. Let's upgrade it. Decreases reload time by 50%. 400. Worth it. Oh, come on! They're crying out loud! For Pete's sake! She's in pain, Saint. I'm gonna fix it. <laughs> I destroyed one to war party for another one to just come right behind it. You've got to be kidding me.
my god! I can't even get all the scrap! Wow, wow, wow. All right, repair the car quick. I'm not even going to wait to scrap. They just keep coming. Holy cow. Quickly, quickly, quickly. How many has that been? Like 12 cars? All right, the map says that there's a scrap location up here and I'm really low on fuel, so let's go up here and explore. Yeah, there's a person in there.
God. How many of them were in here? Jeez. Oh. Suppose I shouldn't be so surprised when we're getting this close to gas town. And holy cow, we found a lot of gasoline, so... Worth the stop. Let's go refuel the car while we can. Hooey. Okay, well this gas can was almost empty. Let's go get another. And this gas can was almost empty. What the heck? Lame. <laughs> Come on. The one time I really need gas. And every gas can is like got a drop in it. Oh, and that one's empty too. They're just trolling me at this point. Oh, wait. I was able to pick it up. Maybe there's something in it. That's three gas cans I've exhausted trying to refuel the car. Come on, give me more than just a drop. Oh, yay, finally. Almost a fuel tank of gas. Full, I mean. Now, see if I can finish looting this place. What? What was that? What on earth is going on? Pick up the weapon, please. Yes, now. Collect loot. And a bunch of invisible gas cans. Okay, two, three, uh, two ladders going up. Let's go up this one first. And that's the scrap crew. All right, well, collecting all of the project parts for Freya's territory has been a breeze so far. Maybe because it's such a smaller territory. All right, I think there's one guy left somewhere. There he is. Okay, we came from here, didn't we? Yeah, we climbed up that ladder. Let's see what's down over here. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Scrap pallet. Great. The riches of Gastown. 
Okay, location 100% looted. Nice. Right, we went up that way last time. Let's see what's up here. Okay, I'm almost at half health. There's no water here, no food here. I think I'll be okay. There's a gas can up there, but we're full on gas. Oh, I, I lived inside this city once. City of crud and grime. I, I was their finest black finger. Right. Well, we have been, this has been quite an adventure just trying to get up to gas town here. We got to go to the underbelly. Right. I mean, that, that's on me. It was just moving too fast. It jumped in front of me. Gas Town. Gas Town is part of the Wasteland Power Triangle, which consists of the Citadel, Bullet Farm, and Gas Town. Gas Town is situated on the site of a former oil drilling site and refinery, which makes gasoline a commodity in abundance here. The oil which Gas Town so abundantly sucks up from the ground is used everywhere and with reckless abandon. Everything in Gas Town is covered in the soot and smudge from the unclean burning and refining of the fossil sludge. The air is torture to breathe, saturated with chemicals and irritants. But Gastown has one thing going for it in spades. It has power. Gastown has diesel, petrol, and oil. And it has generators that generate electricity. Gastown has light, flickering light bulbs, and the omnipresent yellow, orange, and blue flames of excess gas and oil being burnt. Gas Town is built inside a moat of oil sludge and tar seeping up from the very ground with only one heavily guarded entrance to it. Gas Town has been attacked many times and thwarted every aggressive attempt at invasion. The workers, or slaves, or whatever they may be, live in shanties and are fortunate when it comes to wasteland standards. They have food, shelter, and water, and risk minimal death, rape, and beatings if they just do their job and keep their heads down. People who live in this hellish climate are, in fact, among the only people who can be referred to as civilians in this world. Inside of the gas town walls, there is pain, terror, and brutality, true, but there's also opportunity and relative safety. Outside of gas town's walls, there is only chaos. Right, I'm just going to cross the bridge, am I? I mean, there is a back entrance over there. Can I save? No, it just auto-saves. Well, let's see what's across the bridge. It opens. Rodus's gas town. Stay put. I'm going to look around. Uh, uh, don't forget the, the, the outcrier. The, the, the race. People do forget here. <laughs> You'll never make it here. It's only for real runners. Where's the child? She's not here. Don't talk of her out loud. She's really sick. Did you find the rig? I found trouble. But things were there as you said. Why'd you tell me? It's just 
Where I'm from, you trust your gut ropes on people. And where is that? I came from the south, with the riders. Ended up in Gastown. Became the property of Dr. D when that time came. Then the Wasteland War was upon us. After many battles, Dr. D's hordes were bested. His tribe scattered. Most killed. The leaders all dead. The remains of one of their greatest still lies buried out there. Sorry? Buried with him are all his worldly possessions, including his war machine. I will show you where the tomb lies. <sighs> Do with us what you will. As I said, I have a feeling about you. Go with I'm your guts! Hope has shared information about the tomb of a rider, the resting place of a biker warlord that she used to ride with. Locate the tomb and retrieve the vehicle that was buried with him. Reward the demented chariot added to the vehicle collection. Wasteland mission, Ghosts of the Past. I wish you luck, but it's no use. Sorry. Okay, well, looks like there's a quest for me up here. Hey, wake up! <laughs> Fresh meat for the grinder. Straight from the unforgiving waste. I want to join the races. See that slate? You put your mark on it. Then I'll put you in the murder dome. <laughs> you, uh, you work the blood and gut circuit for a couple of years. Survive it, make champion. Then maybe I can start grooming you for a shot in the races. <laughs> no time, Jawbone. I need to join the races now. Uh, okay. Maybe we can find a spot for a man of your, uh... Temperament. temperament. <laughs> yeah. In return, for a favor. A very dangerous, possibly suicidal favor. Eh? You see... You see these? These are lights. <laughs> but they fade. And when they fade, I fade with them. But if a man, a very desperate man, were to fetch me some new ones, you follow me, Wastelander? You want new bulbs. I want new ladies! Yeah, I want a lot of them! What? I asked them all! The gangbang... The gangbaggers, the torpedoes, the noosemen, but no one would help me! The stones for buzzing country. Tell me exactly where they are. You follow this, and you'll get to the Under Dune. The Under Dune? What kind of quest is this? He wants light bulbs? For his Bob outfit? Boy. And then he's got a slave just holding a generator. Dance with death. New bio, the outcrier. Scrotus may be the protector high chief of Gastown, but I run the tracks. Give me the desperate and crazy, and I'll provide the show. The White Wolf says, my favorite mission in the game. I hope you have fun. Thank you, the White Wolf. Uh, we'll see if we get to it today, but we'll definitely get to it. The Gastown Outcrier is a born entertainer. He is the big wheel in the Gastown blood and gut circuit, as well as the proprietor of the Gastown races, of which the feared stank gum is champion. He is a local celebrity, to say the least, and is, by Wasteland standards, quite wealthy. Even though he is the outward face of these popular sports, at the end of the day, he still answers to Scabrous Scrotus and his lieutenants. Among the oily, cruddy figures of Gastown, he cuts quite a striking figure with his famous getup of twinkling lighties and the white noise of many loudspeakers, all powered by a portable gasoline generator carried by his confidant and lover, 
Electric Boy. Man. Talk about a colorful character. <laughs> Jeez. Racist. First he wants an errand run. Electric Boy. Good God. <laughs> All right. Well, let's keep exploring. I mean, we came here to get to the underbelly, and now we get it. We've got to get lighties for Electric Boy. Let's see what's up here. New bio, the underbelly. The underbelly is the massive underground ghetto of Gastown. Deep under the refinery, in old tunnels and maintenance areas, the Gastown smellies all dwell in relative shelter from storms and war parties. Well, we found it. Let's see what waits for us down here. With all these smellies. Is there anything to loot down here? Yeah, two history relics and 11 pieces of scrap. What, what do we have here? A door that we can't get through, but we can see through. It looks like there is a guy in there. Okay, lots of pads here. Let's go down here first, I guess. These guys are just banging on a pipe while a bunch of kids watch. Reminds me of the muck farmers from uh, Monty Python. Another gate we can't get into. Down here. Hey, I think I found something. relic. Okay, some sort of sculpture. This sculpture captures the essence of the postmodern socio-political strata as well as the inner landscape of the urban outsider. It speaks lengths of our need for comfort in an increasingly hostile world as well as offering a blistering lecture on our need for humility. Really? Oh, it's a world of critics. I wonder how I would be judged today. I was supposed to get all of that from this sculpture? I'm getting Dr. Seuss from this sculpture. That's about it. Hmm. Oh, maybe I can go through here. First piece of scrap.
Oh god. Be right back. Need a quick bio break. Two minutes. Won't be gone long. Time me. Right. <clears throat> Thank you for your patience, everybody. <laughs> Laura says he's late for a very important date. What? That was two minutes. It was totally two minutes. Whenever I leave the, the computer, it's always two minutes. I thought you guys knew that by now.
Enter the bowels, done. Well, we've got some water there. Might as well heal up then. Okay, so we need to get in there. Let's see if there's anything around here firstly. Uh, but no, it looks like this is all a dead end. Well, I think I'm gonna have to fight on the other side. Oh my goodness, what am I getting access to here? Reroute the valves before it kills me. Okay, do I got like a timer? I'm gonna die. Right, I'm gonna work, I'm gonna focus on these valves instead of exploring. And once the valves are all closed, so I'm not gonna choke to death, let's, uh, we'll explore. Oh no, dead end, crap! Uh, do we go up? Is this where we came from? I don't remember the flies. <laughs> this is where we came from. And I can't go back! I can't go back. Okay, I was thinking I could go back for a breath of fresh air, but nope, doesn't look like that's the case. Ian Markham says, love your channel, Ox. I was wondering if you would ever stream the remastered Ace Attorney trilogy. The games are a bit like the Sherlock Holmes games you streamed, so I think it's right up your alley. Ace Attorney, I'm not familiar with the title, but perhaps I'll give it a look-see. gotten two valves. How many do I need to get? Four? 
Looks like I'm coming upon the third. Here we go. That should do it. Yes. Exit the bowels. Okay, before I exit, I want to loot. As long as I don't use my shotgun, I should be safe from igniting the gas. Uh, this is likely a place where they're going to hide a bunch of scrap. So let's uh, explore a bit just to make sure. And of course, it's not mapped, so I could be running around in circles. Uh, right, that goes up there. That's a dead end. Crossroads. Uh, oil. This goes up. What is this? That's the way out. Okay. Before I go out, I want to finish exploring. Okay, I'm starting to retrace my steps here, I think. But I was supposed to find something else here in the underbelly, wasn't I? I needed to get the scrap that Chum Bucket left. Oh god, this is starting to look familiar. Alright, I turned left there, so... But this is a dead end, alright. And this goes back to... The ladder. Okay. Have I really explored it all? And then I just came from there. So. I went right at the oil spout last time. And this is a dead end, so I can't go that way. Okay. This leads down. <laughs> Let's see if there was anything down here before we go back up. No, it doesn't look like it. Wait a minute. Is was that the oil pipe? What's this way? What? Oh my god, I should have just gone out when I found it. Wait, I've been here. This leads back to... That's the oil pipe. Okay, so then that'll take me out. But then wait a minute, what was that other path over here? If that pipe led to the path that led outside, we saw oil flowing from a pipe over here. Where did that lead? This way. What's this way? Have I been down here? Or is that the way out? Oh, it must... That must be the way out, because this will lead to the other pipe that's leaking. If I got this right. Because it should go up. No. No, what's this? I don't know this. Yeah, that's the other pipe that I got. Oh my god. This place is a maze. This is not going where I thought it would go. Well, now that's going down. 
Oh! There! There's the leaky pipe. And the staircase up. Okay. And that's the way I just went. Which means... What's that way then? If that way goes back... That goes down. That goes back. Where does this way go? That's the dead end. Okay, well then hold on a minute. Wasn't I supposed to find Chum Bucket's scrap down here? Okay, so that down path is going to lead back around. This is where I just came from. Which means there should be a turn to the right after we go down at the end of this pipe. Down. And to the right. Yeah, that was the pipe leading up. Okay, that's the other way that had we come from the other way, which means this leads out. Yay! Matthew says, Hey, Ox, I feel you would enjoy the Borderlands series of games. Fun characters, interesting stories, decent lore, and tons of loot to collect. Yeah, probably would. Okay, well, this just leads us outside. <sighs> Finally. Wasteland mission complete, where there is smoke. I nearly died in there, but the gas is now flowing through the pipes, fueling Deep Fryer's pilot light. He can resume his sermons. New Thunder Poon upgrade available, the Thunder Poon of Awe. And Deep Fryer has a new Wasteland mission for me. All right, let's see, Garage, Thunder Poon. I guess it's locked. This is the Thunder Poon of Rapture. That's the Thunder Poon of Awe. I need to get this first before I can get the Thunder Poon of Awe. And uh, that's uh, locked because I need to get the, the threat level down to two. Okay, well, there's a scrap marker over here. And there was more inside gas town that I didn't get to explore because I found the uh, mission objective so quickly. Let's uh, climb this big scrap pile and see if we can find the scrap that's marked on the map here. I think it's on the other side of the wall. It is. Is that a break? Can I get in from over there? All right, well, I only found one of two scavenging relics. Drive to the entrance. That's the other wasteland mission. Okay, well, let me get up here before I summon the car. The, uh, the Astro Nerd Boy says, I second you playing the Borderlands series. It has been surprisingly fun for me. All right, well... I might just have to do that. God. What? Oh, okay. 
Um, all right, before we go continue with the mission, I want to finish exploring what I can of Gastown. What have we found here? This isn't the entrance to Gastown? It's another entrance or something. Looks like there's a scrap encounter here. New enemy boomer. Boom! You be nothing but strips of meat and hair and teeth. Lord Scrotus will eat your remains. Boomers are war boys with an expertise in explosives, especially thunder sticks. Although they may lack fingers, eyes, and hearing from failed pyrotechnical experiments, they fully embrace their lot as the ones who go boom. Boomers are loose cannons, and other war boys tend to avoid them for fear of getting accidentally blown to bits. Accidents among boomers are not uncommon, and they often take more than themselves into a very messy death. Tip, boomers throw explosive thunder sticks at their enemies. It's best to evade their trajectory and area of effect. The explosion can also be used to help pacify some of the boomers' allies. They can be effectively stopped if shot from afar. One of two scrap. Door blocked. Ah. There's the other scrap. Hey, a project part. Survey crew, one of one required. Location 100% looted. All right.
Right now, before we go to the Underdune and before we go to that section of Gastown where Chum Bucket wants us to get his scrap, I want to go back inside Gastown because there was another path we could have taken in the underbelly <clears throat> or towards the underbelly that I think led to other stuff that we didn't see. Maybe it's just a couple pieces of scrap. Maybe it's a few history relics. There's definitely something that we haven't seen yet that we still have access to. So I want to go get that. Then we'll move on. We went up that way. Wait, no, we went. Yeah, we went that way because the door was closed. Here we go. We went down into the left last time. Yeah, we went down there. So let's go this way. Eight of 11 scrap. Nine of 11 scrap. Okay, so I'm thinking the rest of uh, this area is locked behind doors like that. I'm thinking later on in the game, we'll probably be able to explore those. That, I think, just leads down to where we came from when exploring the underbelly. Yeah, because our only option is to squeeze through that crack, and that's going to lead us back to the maze, which we don't want. Okay. We've explored what we can. Let's climb back out and uh, go get those spare parts, the scrap that uh, Chum Bucket left when he was last here. Wow, this is really an elaborate maze. They did a good job on level design in this game. All 
All right, and that's all of Gastown I can explore so far. We got the quest from her. We got the quest from him. We completed Deep Fryer's quest. Let's, uh... Uh... Oh, right. Ha! This is good news. We do the outcriers bidding, and you're in the races. Soon the big chief is ours. Do you know of a place called the Underdew? Oh, by my angel. I wish I didn't. How bad is it? We all dream of the Underdew. It's riches. But to go there is a last day. With death. I'm getting the big chief. You must just ignite the loops and vulcanize whoever runs the road. Oh, please, Lord of Motion, stay our course. Here it is. Okay, Chum Bucket. I'm doing this for you, buddy. Oh, yes, I understand. If you need Chum to come and drive it, just send the oh, flare. Oh, man. All right, hold on. I gotta use my pulley. You stay there, chum bucket. So one of eight pieces of scrap down here. No worry. Ain't no one coming back here. We corpse them all. Two of eight. Three of eight. Four of eight. How about dreaming about dying? Let's see, was there any scrap over here? Nope. Let's go kill this guy. Come over here and fight like a man! Let me try that again! Break. Look here, bona fide pistons. Hubcaps and pistons, all right. We got here. There's Chum Bucket symbol, I think. Seven of eight. History relic. That's a praying mantis. These guys are gonna take over the whole planet, my man. Just look at that little freaky head. Yeah. Those insects were good eating. Yeah, they ran out too. Well, Max seems to like eating praying mantises, I guess.
This must be what he talked about. So what? All this scrap? Oh no, this thing over here. Oh. Chum's Holy Wrench. Okay. Wasteland mission complete as the wrench turns. I got Chum his wrench. Repairing faster will increase my chances of survival considerably. New repair speed upgrade unlocked. Max. Oh, I unlocked some new stuff here. Hey, ammo belt upgrades increases the amount of ammo and shivs carried in inventory. Seven shotgun shells, 15 sniper rounds, 15 thunder poon caps, and five shivs. We'll get it. Achievement unlocked maximum. We've got a new head. What's this? Long hair and beard with goggles and bandana. I mean, that bandana just looks goofy. I'll just stick to the long beard. Let's do that one. Looks like I'm going to have to fight my way out. Unless I miss them on my way in, but I don't know how that's possible. Did I get everything? Yeah, history relic and the scrap. nuts like never before. You twist those nuts, chum bucket. Do what you're good at. No, why? There we go. Okay, so our main quest takes us where exactly? To the, the never-ending dunes or something? Drive to the under dune. Oh. All the way out there. Okay, let's see. We got about 40 minutes left. Uh, before we go to the under dune, let's go back to Deep Freya because we've got some projects to build and he's got another quest for us. Orchestrated for the gas to be turned off to steal the pilot light. Under my nose, he took the sacred artifact. And by the flame, he did forsake the true path and stole away many of my wildfire flock. Deserters. Traitors. Heretics. I need that pilot light back. 
I will give you whatever I can if you help. Where are they? See? Written in our revered script. It calls for all stragglers wishing to save themselves from the damnation of Deep Friar to follow him. Torch them all. The architect turned off the gas in order to safely reach and steal the pilot light beacon. Reclaim the beacon for Deep Friar. Reward. Unlock the blowtorch's side burners upgrade. Talk to the Friar about it. Oil well. All right, automatically refueled upon entering the stronghold. Jared Lopez, in all caps, says, What were your thoughts on the Starfield gameplay? Uh, my thoughts were uh, great. I was thrilled by it. Um, it looked familiar. It looked new. It looked interesting. I can't wait to try it. Stronghold improved. There's the survey crew. Scavenging locations within the stronghold's territory have been marked on the map. Awesome. That's the armory, which I've got already. Were there any more? I think there was the maggot farm as well. Health automatically restored upon entering the stronghold. Stronghold improved. The pilot light is lit. Cool. Irons in the fire complete five projects for Deep Raya. I am now Road Warrior, level six. Go see the countdown. What's that? The script reads off in the darkest hour. The believers standing upon the sacred sand will behold the true light. Meaning? Darkest hour must be when the sun sleeps in the ground and blackness reigns. By sacred sand, he means the burning mound. I'm sure of it. Which is where? I see you have a map. I can read these symbols. Let me mark it. Night time. Burning mound. Look for a light. I'll see what I can do. Okay, I read the sign. I've now got the burning mound marked on my map. Collection crew, says Valicia. Did I get collection crew? Cleanup crew. I still need the part for that. All right, so I need cleanup crew. I need water storage. And I need to donate scrap. And then I think I'm done with deep frying. From such as I, these symbols are impossible to decipher. Do you know their meaning? It's called the Burning Mound. Do you know it? Mm, I've heard of it. Yes, uh, some worship it. You gotta be there when the sun is down. Oh crap! All right, we gotta be there at nighttime when the sun is down. I'm not sure how daylight works in this game. Wow, look at all of these scrap locations towards where we're headed. And a lot just got unmarked over here. Uh, all right, so we got a couple options here. We could go towards our quest destination, which is um, the Burning Mound here in the Heights. That's the side quest. We could go towards the Underdune, which sounds really interesting. Can I do that in 40 minutes, though? That's the question. 
Um, let's try it. As long as I don't get any distractions, I should be able to get there. Oh, Saint, is there no other way? None who venture to the Underdome ever return. Road vermin don't scare me. No, not roadkill. Buzzards. It's a vile maze of dread. We can't go. No alternative. Poor chum bucket is terrified. I'm not going to get distracted. But wait, I gotta go that way. Wheel, the wheel. Oh, reconnected. Let's see if that um, ends the buffering problem. Okay, and it looks like we're back, but I've got a red light. Which means I might have connection problems for a bit. Let's get through this fight. Are we right in the middle of a minefield? We are, there's a minefield right over there. All right, so my connection has just uh, tanked for some reason. I'll try to creep closer and see how far in we can get. Oh, don't slay me, I know you. You got the fool's errand. The outcry sent you to the underdune, huh? You better bring a tough skin car to make it through. A tough skinned car. All right, I got a green light. But it's flickering yellow. <laughs> Big booms.
One more piece of scrap. And there it is. Attempt at creating the magnum opus. It made them turn on me. They tried to kill me, but killed Chum. As I was thrown from the wall, I thought I was to die. But, but the angel, the angel combustion saw fit to save my life. <laughs> I wonder how he lived. I wonder what he means by the angel of combustion. Saw fit to save his life. He's talking about us. But we didn't save him from the wall. We just happened upon him later. All right, I'm going to blow up more of these barrels. I think there's a challenge or something if I do that. I got to get closer. No detours, he says, and yet there's all this stuff right here. We'll come back and get it later. The Dunes Region. Called the Dunes Region because everything here lies buried under the dunes. Much is hidden here. Extreme wealth, still undiscovered since days before the fall. But dangers abound, and everyone knows the buzzards have many interests here. That must be it. Up ahead. The tower! A black beacon for those tunnels of doom! It's an airport. Looks like the underdune was an airport. So many awful tales about this place. Harpoons ready, Saint. Go. Right! Driving hard! New bio, the airport. Once this was a bustling hub, ferrying in plane loads of visitors to the thriving region each day. Now it is a disused wreck buried in sand and debris. It is also home to an infestation, since its vast tunnel network and hidden vaults are the perfect playground for the buzzards. Like any airport, lots of valuable freight is housed here, much of it inaccessible. That is why so many fortune, uh, fortune seekers come here hoping to strike it rich. Lately, none have returned. That mystical sphere! What manner of pagan temple once stood here? <laughs> Focus. We're here for the bulbs. <laughs> Ah! 
I mean, Wait here. an Just abandoned airport, understand. ruined, Don't buried in sand. Please. No turning back. It just begs to be explored. Keep your eyes open and your voice down. But it's probably not going to pay off because I think this place was designed for me just to ride through really quickly. But let's do it. Our due diligence here. Oh, come on! I'm just exploring the airport. Warning, return to the magnum opus. That's the first time I've ever seen a warning because I've gone too far away from my uh, quest vehicle. A bummer thing to put into an open world game like this. Oh, well, I guess that means there's nothing here. Running low on shotgun shells. <laughs> if we cannot lower that bridge, we will go no further. I'll do it. Stay here. Oh, but hurry. I feel their red eyes upon us. Upon her. One second. Why don't they attack? They're protecting something or leading me into a trap. Oh. 
observing, studying. Hmm. Well, well, they're not stopping me. Let's get out of here then. TJ says, notice the Christmas decorations here, Oxhorn? <clears throat> oh, did uh, the Great Flood happen dur uh, during Christmas? Yeah, I see the Christmas decorations. So that's why we're going to find bulbs. It's Christmas lights. Oh man, that pillar, it just jumped in front of me. the light bulbs. Right, Chum Bucket, you stay here. I know how much you love that. Oh, tread lightly. Who knows what terrors lurk in that gloom. <sighs> here they are. So they got this far. What stopped them? <laughs> okay. Use a flashlight to see in the dark. Thank you, tooltip. Six pieces of scrap in this entire airport. All right. Food, good. 
But I'm full health. I'll remember that, though. Restrooms. Bodies. More scrap. Here we go. Goodness. Okay, that's where we came from. Hmm. Plane crashed into the airport. Guess I'm not supposed to go that way. Yeah, that just leads underground. Four of six. Canteen full and a weapon ready. Hmm. Uh-oh. Any loot in the stalls? Where are you running? Right, well, there's all the scrap. Ha 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 ha, mannequins. Oh, I love mannequins. That's just a bunch of mannequins. <laughs> the store. Gotta be this way. So much. Should be getting close now. And that's where they all are. At the store. Grab the bulbs and get out. Yep. Soon as I grab these bulbs, something bad's gonna happen. Twinkle toes. Well, I guess that means there's one way out. Come on, man.
Oh, great, a big boy. A blade lizard. I will split you open and drain your life from you. Blade lizards are elite night lizards wielding deadly blades forged out of found treasures. Their place in the buzzard ranks is unknown since most people who encounter them won't live to tell the tale. Making sure to acquire the weapon parry skill is the best defense against their attacks. Evading is the poor man's option. Escape the tunnel. Right. Whoops. That was supposed to be a zip line, wasn't it? All this way for Christmas lights. Tell you what, I'm gonna let Chum Bucket do a quick repair. See how that new hammer works. Or the new wrench. Right, we've used the Thunder Poon on how many buzzard cars now? Five. We're close. We're making it. We're We've got ten left. God. Better 
be ready. Woo! Return to the outcrier. Okay, can we uh, fast travel there? Yes. Because I am over time and my connection has destabilized. So this is the perfect opportunity to end the broadcast. Let's turn this in. It's pretty shitty. <laughs> my ladies! <laughs> I'll sparkle for miles! But you're still alive. And now I'm joining the Rices. Looks like you earned it. Let's see. Uh, well, that can work. Huh. You'll just have a, a little accident. <laughs> <laughs> and presto! A new contestant! <laughs> What's your handle, lady boy? Yeah. One more thing. You need a partner. Someone cleared for fighting at the Gastown races. Yeah. Well, not too many left to choose from. I'd hurry. <sighs> a partner? Destroy mission complete, dance with death. I've given the outcrier what he wanted and he's registered me for the Gastown races. However, I still need to find a fighter. Fighter! You'll find him hanging out around the O-ring. Find a fighter in the O-ring. Pink Eye has a new Wasteland mission available. All right. Well, ladies and gents, I'm having uh, internet connectivity issues, but I completed all four hours, so... This is as good a time to end the broadcast as any. Thank you all for joining me for today's broadcast of Mad Max. Hope you like the new shirt design. Maybe it's been a long now. time coming. Slick. Stinking Wolves, get yours today. Linked in the chat. As I said earlier, I've got many, many more designs. Some that have been resurrected after being missing for a long time. So check out the shop if you're interested. For the rest of this week, tomorrow is Scotch and Smoke Rings. That's my weekly show where I have a Q&A with everybody for about an hour or so. And then we play a really scary game. We are playing Little Hope, the Dark Pictures Anthology, Little Hope tomorrow. Then for Friday, we'll continue with Shadow of the Tomb Raider for wrapping things up with a Fallout 4 lore video for Saturday. Have a wonderful rest of your Wednesday, everybody, and I'll see you all very soon with more lore videos and more live streams. Bye-bye now. There's a blood bag. At least I want to keep you alive. But what good is that?